Hi everybody, welcome to the vlog. So some of you know that I have been trying to get my hands on PC parts, which there is a worldwide shortage of, but I've been trying my best to get my hands on PC parts to build my own computer because I need to. In order to continue doing YouTube the way I want to and release more videos, I have to have a PC in order to edit and work off of. And right now I am working off of a laptop and the laptop is dying on me. It can't handle the data, it can't handle the input. So I have been like searching for PC parts. My case arrived yesterday, but I can't get my hands on a GPU, couldn't find a motherboard, couldn't get a CPU, like I have a case and that's it. So during my like little bounty hunt last night, I found a store that has a 5900X CPU in stock and a motherboard. So I was like, let me get here before, you know, opening. I'm, I'm, I'm actually here right after opening, okay? But they only sell it if you come in store. So I'm like, great, I can just get there and snag it. And I'm here at the store. Fingers crossed that they have some stuff in stock um, because like finding these things is so outrageously difficult right now, but we're here and you're coming with me and let's see what we can get. Hello. Okay, I am looking for a what is it? I need, I just said it too. It's the 5900X CPU uh -huh. and the motherboard, the X570. Do you have a preferred one you're looking for for the X570 or no? X570 Pro. Pro? Okay. I know you guys have it. I checked online. Don't tell me you sold it. I have to double check because some of those are all on so it's noise. Do you have the mother one? I was gonna ask you guys about that because I'm. If you're buying it from us, we can do it for free. Oh, you guys are awesome. It'll, and it'll just take a little bit of time. I just have to double check. You guys are. I don't care because I was scared. I've never done this, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do what. Like, I know what a BIOS update is, but so, I've never done it. Yeah, it, you just need like a third gen Ryzen CPU, and then you need to install. I mean, if you guys can do it, you guys do it. Yeah, we can do it. For it's you. Freaking awesome! I just yeah. Um, there's 3070s in my face, and I just thought that everybody would appreciate seeing them. <laughs> Like, the, you guys have actual stock. Yeah, before we used to be able to sell them by itself, but just has yeah, you guys shortage. have to share like the package deal. I get it. Yeah. But just the fact that I'm seeing so many in my face is like, holy cow! Wow. Jesus. Okay. I think that's all I needed. All right, so, um, if you want, I'm supposed to get your box full of stuff into just so it's a little bit easier for you to carry out. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. What are we working? I just cooler are you so uh, i'll put this back yeah we need, let's do that update on that so i because i don't want to have to bios update my own um board i don't think i'm prepared for that like i don't want to do it but you guys i have my hands on a 3070 a 3070 a freaking 3070 it's not white but it's got rgb we're gonna make it work oh my god <laughs> holy cow like speechless 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 I'll give you the full specs when I get home, but I guess this was a successful run. I drove like 50 miles to get here. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Okay, yeah, we'll make sure you actually got everything. Yeah. Huh? So I'm waiting for them to BIOS update my motherboard. Thank God they can do that for me. I don't have to do it myself, but... I was not expecting to get as much as I got. Like I was not expecting, I was expecting, hoping, fingers crossed, to get a CPU, which I was able to get. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get a graphics card. Um, they demand that you buy it in like a bundle. Um, and luckily I was already buying like a ton of computer components anyway, so I was able to get it. But you guys look, they actually have GPUs. These are worth their weight in gold right now. We have the 3070 FTW3, which is what I got. I got this one. Um, I wanted the white one, but it has a gigantic RGB strip on the front, so I can always just change the RGB strip to white, and then maybe I'll black out the or white out the edges um, nicely, not cheaply, but that's the one I ended up getting. Um, but they do have other graphics cards available. Like, obviously, these are so difficult to get right now. 
like me seeing them in a case with like multiple pairings of them is insane and then we have a ton of motherboards over here i've been so excited because this is my first time in like a computer store so me seeing all of this stock and product together is very overwhelming and i want to touch everything <sighs> i don't have a monitor so now i need to get a monitor um my power my uh power brick is coming I think maybe in a week or so, but I didn't anticipate getting all this stuff at once. And then my NVMe drive, storage uh, drive is going to be at home when I get home. So I nearly have everything. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey everybody, I am back, oof, looking a mess, in my room. Um, I'm home with all the stuff I did not anticipate getting all of this but I got it. And I was going to resist the urge to like start putting pieces together, but screw it. I want to, I, I want to put some stuff together. I want to do this. Um, so let me just run through the specs for you. Um, I have up on the screen, the layout of what I have, but let me tell you exactly what we are working with here. I have the X570 Pro Prime Asus uh, motherboard with some built-in RGB. There's going to be a lot of RGB in here. Okay. There's going to be a lot of it. So we have the X570 board. We are running an AMD Ryzen 5000 series chip. It is the 5900X. I know, I got my hands on it. Insane, like wow. A two terabyte um, NVMe 4.0. Yes, my little rocket here, got that. I really wanted the white version of the 3070 but it's going to be near impossible to get it. So I ended up getting the, which one? FTW3 Ultra 3070 GeForce RTX. Um, it has a big like RGB uh, strip on the front of it. So I'm hoping that that's gonna help me kind of mesh in with the aesthetic. It's supposed to be a white build. Um, the RGB, on there should help me keep the aesthetic going. So I'm not too concerned about having this graphics card. I know I'm lucky to have one at all. And then I have, uh, how do I even say this, right? IQ, I-C-U-E, H150i Elite. It's a cooler. It's a liquid RGB cooler and it's white. Okay, there we go. So I, the only thing I'm missing that's in the mail is literally, this was home. This was on my front porch when I got home. So yay for the, in, uh, the NVMe. My power source is in the mail and should be here in maybe like six days. It is also white. It's an 850 watt um, power block thing. So it should be plenty to sustain this build. What am I actually missing? I know I'm missing one more thing. Oh, duh. I need to go get my monitor. <laughs> Such an idiot. I need to get my monitor. I haven't, I didn't buy any of the accessories because I didn't think that I was going to be able to put this build together this quick. Like I didn't anticipate having all the pieces. So I need to go get my 4K monitor, which I haven't really settled on which one I want. I thought about getting the Dell, but the Dell was $900 and I really don't want to spend $900 after spending as much as I did on this build, which if you are a computer savvy person, you know that I blew a lot of money on this. And for those of you who are wondering, because the people seem to think like YouTubers make a lot. I don't make a lot on YouTube. Okay. My YouTube in, in one month, my YouTube channel would not be able to pay for just this. This one piece, my YouTube channel couldn't pay for in an entire month. So just don't think that, I, oh, she's so balling. No, I suffered to buy this stuff. I saved up to buy this stuff. Like this is my own money here. And this is proof of my dedication to you guys as a YouTuber because I'm building a very powerful system so that I can make more videos. So just understand that I am truly dedicated to you guys, okay? I'm gonna try to put some of these pieces together, throw some things in the case and see what we're working with. Let's do this. So I am sitting on my bedroom floor weeks after I got all of my PC parts. The reason I'm sitting on my bedroom floor weeks after I originally started this video 
is because I ordered my ram sticks from Newegg and they're still not here. It got so bad that yesterday I Amazon Prime brand new ram sticks and they just got here today. Here's the package for my ram and here this is. Here is the PC nearly complete. Yes, the M.2 right there. We got the CPU, our beautiful graphics card. The uh, radiator fan mount is here. Everything is here except for those darn RAM sticks. Now I did check to make sure that I was gonna be able to um, fit the RAM sticks in after I built all this because I know even though I'm a newbie, I do know better. The RAM sticks should have been put in before the motherboard even was placed into the container. But um, I didn't wanna wait and I was excited and I wanted to make sure that the RAM sticks could still fit. So I believe they can. So I'm gonna pop these suckers in right now and you guys are gonna watch me turn on, hopefully turn on this computer for the first time. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Look at, oh God. Okay, wait, move, get out of the way. Look, Trident Z Royal, because of course that's what I got. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So these are two 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM. Oh my God. And this is what it looks like. It's like a frosted crystal mirror type deal going on there yes i am filming on my phone because you can see the reflection <gasps> ah! this is the only thing my computer is missing i still need to like figure out how to mount this um there was a fleck a reflection coming off of the metal parts on my pc i thought it was on i was like what oh god this is all i need and then i need to put the cooler on and that's it like that's it we're gonna turn this baby on okay i got them in there correctly I think I think um I think I had it maybe turned around but then it popped into place so this is the only thing I got to put on now is the cooler and I hope I did everything else um I think I did everything else right the cooler is gonna go here okay I'm ready to try to start up my computer for the first time my neighbor's cat is here there's Buddy. I don't know how he keeps getting in. I legit, I didn't let him in. And mom went to work already. I don't know how the cat got in, but he's here. So, and we love him, it's fine. He's just kind of magical. So here's what we're working with. Um, I was able to, I think, attach the cooler successfully. Um, I think I did everything correctly. The back, I don't have everything in the back um, like put together yet. Here you can see I've done a bit of cable management, but I haven't put the back on yet because my HDD drive is not currently plugged in because I want to make sure I download my windows onto my M.2 so I have, you know, the fastest load times possible. So yeah, that's, I'm, I'm waiting to plug. In fact, I think the sled actually, here's the sled. I must have tipped the computer over and the sled came out, but it's fine. Um, it's not plugged in yet. I will plug it in. This is just first time booting any computer ever, ever, you guys, ever. I really wanted a white um, graphics card, but it's fine. It's still very pretty. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I plugged in this keyboard. I plugged in this keyboard to the, uh, not HDMI. You know what port I'm talking about. I can't think right now. I can't think. USB. It's a USB port. Um, same thing with the mouse. This is plugged into my graphics card through the HDMI cable, correct? Oh my God, no, it's not actually. Let me fix that. Okay, now it's plugged directly into my graphics card, which I believe is the correct way to do this. This is my first time. I'm a first timer. Don't make fun of me. I don't know. I just think I did everything right. So I'm gonna hit the button. I'm gonna hit the button. I'm gonna hit the button. I'm, oh my gosh, what if this explodes or something? I'm gonna hit the button. <gasps> what if it doesn't even work? Oh, okay, Jose, I'm so freaked out. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh damn, nothing happened. Shit. Well, I'm doing something wrong. Damn, okay, well, 
let me figure it out then, I guess. Oh my God, you guys, I wanted to cry for a second. I was gonna cry. I was, because I've been like, I've been so diligent in researching and I was gonna cry because I, I, I just took the front face off of my PC because I didn't understand what I did wrong. Like, I'm so meticulous. I'm so detailed. Like, how could I be a failure? How could I be such a failure? I didn't understand. I, I'll go, I can't explain to you. I was going to cry. I was so sad. I spent so much money on this PC and I'm like, what could I, what did I do? Did I break something? I spent so much money and it's not going to work. Like, I was, that's why I shut off the camera because I was just like, I'm a failure. You're a failure. You're, you're, you didn't follow directions, you failure. And then I realized, I could still cry right now. I realized I hadn't turned that back switch on and I hit it. And then my keyboard lit up. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Let me put the front face back onto my PC. We're going to try this again. <laughs> Okay, okay. I really was so, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. Cause I'm like, I know I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, but I tried really, really hard. And I was just like proud of my nerdy self building my PC. And then it, it wasn't coming on. I was gonna cry. I still feel tears, but now it's like tears of joy. Look. <laughs> so we have some action. Okay, so at least I can get it to light up, you know? Dealing with BIOS is gonna be a whole different thing. Cause I've never been into a, like any type of BIOS before, but. Okay, it's working, so I think, let's try this again. Okay, so we have power, but I haven't actually turned the PC on right now. So I gotta turn the PC on right now. <sighs> at least, okay, at least I plug stuff into the wall right. <sighs> Breathe, here we go. I know I, it's stupid right I know I'm being stupid um it's just like I worked so hard to like get the finances to be able to put this together I have never done it before and there's nobody in my house I could like plausibly ask for help so it's just like I was on my own with this and I learned everything on YouTube thank you so much to any of like the YouTubers that upload like the how-to stuff because I was so broken hearted when it didn't turn on at first. Like I felt so bad and I'm like, either I broke something or I'm a complete idiot. Oh, I just worked so hard for this and it works. <laughs> so first, this is like the most extensive thing that I've ever built or bought. <laughs> like this is the most, um, the bios is up. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, I worked really hard for this. It's a very expensive computer and I like, this money didn't come from YouTube because YouTube doesn't pay me very much. Um, <laughs> I still have like an everyday job, but this is just like a, a part of my representation of how dedicated I am to my channel and how like dedicated I am for it to move forward. Um, Oh God, I didn't mean to get so emotional, but when I thought it was broken and wasn't working, like I was so discouraged because I waited so long. Like I started this video weeks ago. I started making, filming this video weeks ago and there's been so many delays and so many issues. And I'm, I had my heart set on finally turning this thing on today and feeling like, girl, you did it. So when it didn't turn on, like I, my soul was crushed and I'm just like, I don't have anybody to call. Who do I call? Who do I, who do you call if your custom PC doesn't boot? But my idiot self forgot. Like I was like, wait, did I hit the switch? And then I'm <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Let me give you a close up of what's happening. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I am not being, does my mouse work? Oh my gosh, my mouse works. Okay, okay, my mouse works. Whew. I don't mean to be like so emotional, but my heart was like legitimately broken for a good 30 seconds. It really was. So now that I'm not an idiot and I know that I'm not a complete idiot, you know, I might not be the smartest person, but I'm not a complete idiot. What is next? I need to get a flash drive so that I can put windows onto this PC. That's what is next. And do I have a flash drive? No, I think I need to go to Best Buy. I thought I had one. Like who doesn't have a flash drive, but apparently I don't have one. So I'm gonna leave it running and hopefully everything's okay. Here's for those of you who, I don't know, know how things work. Here's the BIOS. So, I mean, I think my CPU should be a bit cooler, but everything in there is working. So maybe it'll cool down. It's at 46 degrees Celsius and it should be at 27. That's kind of a big discrepancy. I'm gonna have to check on that to make sure everything's cool. No pun intended, but um, I need to get windows onto this and see if I can customize the lighting and... <gasps> I am gonna make, once this is complete, cause this is like my build video. Once everything is done and complete and I have an appropriate desk, so I'm just using like a kitty table right now. My desk is not here yet. I will do a full showcase of the functioning PC keyboard and everything. Cause this is actually my backup keyboard. It's not the keyboard that I wanna show off. <laughs> okay, let me figure out if I can get, um, windows onto this computer. I need to go get a flash drive. Let's do this. I'm leaving Best Buy. I think I'm ready. I think I got everything. Final steps, here we go. Open the door. <laughs> All right, I have Windows installed. It's my little USB thing. Um, it took me a couple like restarts to like, cause it wasn't really recognizing things. And I'm like, what the hell? Restart, re restart and everything. Thanks to Jay's two cents for uh, walking me through this. So I officially have an, an operating system working here. So I need to plug in my um, HDD drive and then close up the back of my PC. Like that's it, yo, let's do this. All right, so here is the SATA cable I just plugged in with my HDD. I think it's eight terabytes. Um, I'm starting to work. I already had started some cable management, but obviously I couldn't finish until everything else was plugged in and I had like, you know, this mounted. So double-sided tape, got that. And now I just kind of need to tie up some wires and put the backing of the PC on. So let me do this. So here is my cable management. Hopefully it's decent enough, I think. Everything's kind of really tied down good. Um, I did use some of these twist ties because I had them, but I'm also using these zip ties, also known as tweezers. Swiss Wait, did, did he just call those tweezers? Did he just call those tweezers? That's a zip tie. How, how in God's name is my English better than his? What the tweezer? That's for the eyebrow with the PP. What the? And I think I did a decent enough job. Like I know what all the cables hook up to. It, you know, they're not really gonna get in the way. Maybe I'll put a couple more zip ties down here to um, really tighten this up. But I think the back will go on okay. Well, I think I've done good. Things are um, cable managed, I believe. I think I did all right. I do want to put some Liam Lee extension cables in here, you know, because RGB, hell yeah. But I think I did okay, right guys? I, like first build, first build. I got it booted, I got it turned on, I got windows on here, like, oh. I'm gonna finish watching um, Jay's Two Cents so he can help me finish uh, setting up my computer, but Windows is on there. I just need to make sure there's nothing else I need to do. Get this baby plugged up to the internet and then start transferring some files over like, All right, everybody, I am up and running. Um, 
I had to get a range extender, like a Wi-Fi range extender for my modem because I was, my plan was to plug up my modem in my room because, you know, I'm not stupid. I wanted to actually put the ethernet cord into my computer and have it, you know, so I can have the speeds and everything. But for whatever reason, the modem doesn't work in my room. So then I had to get like a range extender in order to plug the ethernet into that. But I am now connected to the internet. Everything is working pretty good. My HDD drive, I need to figure out why it's not um, being picked up on here. So I'll double check into that. But I am done building the PC. I haven't figured out how to customize the lighting or anything, but at the end of this video, in fact, in a few seconds, you are going to see my official permanent setup of my new workstation. Thank you for being here with me in this video and this weird long journey, hard journey, slightly emotional journey. If you want to talk about the specs of all the different um, uh, elements of my PC or where I got my keyboards, I don't know, sorry, uh, you guys didn't see this one. I have two mechanical keyboards, but this is my main keyboard. So when you see the setup, you know, if you want to, if you want to talk about it, um, go through it, walk through it, see everything in the final show. I will link that video up above, but here is my final setup.